most important decision in my career was probably the one I made at the very beginning, being trained as a physician and a medical geneticist. Uh, I made very soon the decision that I really want to be in basic science, and I was really interested in the role of the basic science is playing in uh, also in translational uh, science and the possibility for a clinical application. So my work was mostly in uh, inflammation and immunology through the years. And what they made as several key decisions during my career is where they're the best place to do this type of work. And they really move in many different places from uh, university, academic institution, to a research uh, uh, institution, uh, it's short stint of five years in a, a big pharma, and eventually, uh, almost twenty years ago, I joined the National Cancer Institute. And uh, from my career, I say I focus on immunology, but I also make decision to uh, work on infection disease, uh, inflammation of the immunity, and more recently, focus more and more. Uh, on cancer and uh, um, cancer therapy. And the last decision that I'm really happy that I made about a year ago is to jump in the new excited field on microbiome research. And I started really working on the role of the microbiome in uh, carcinogenesis and cancer therapy. And I'm really happy in these last two years, there are really more and more evidence that it's really possible to target the microbiome in cancer therapy for the benefit of the patients. I think this is a really great time for science. Uh, there are really almost unlimited possibility. I think there will be more and more science, science discovery and the possibility to apply science again to translational technology and uh, medicine and uh, treatment of patient. However, for the new people in the field, uh, things are not so easy. I think uh, my generation, early generation, probably has a uh, easier situation that the uh, present investigator are getting this type of career right now. So which wisdom I want to give to them? Well, I think actually not to think about wisdom, but really think about being uh, passionate and dedicated to their work, being enthusiastic for their project, most important, have fun doing, uh, doing it, uh, trust that work they are doing is important. Again, trust the possibility of translation, particularly for uh, uh, clinical medicine and uh, cancer treatment. And uh, um, if they do that, if they're passionate about their work, they have the best chance to be successful scientifically, but also successful in their career. And I think that can really give them the strength and the tools they really overcome any obstacle they will find, and unfortunately, they will find many obstacles in their career. So I'm really very honored to be induced in the academy, and I should say also a little bit surprised. Surprised because I'm really not a, a car carrying um, immune oncologist. Uh, the, so the fact that my peers have recognized in my work and the result of my work through the years and have relevance for the progress of cancer uh, immunotherapy really make me happy. And as I should also say that it's not the first time that the society surprised me already a few years ago. They uh, gave me their major award and surprised me at that time. But I really think that I also something I'm very honored because I think the Society for Immunotherapy of Cancer is really doing a very important, great job in, the, in this field of research. And I'm not really talking about the society now, the big society, big meeting, thousands of people. I'm talking about only a few years ago when it was a small struggling society in which the um, immune oncology uh, was really not considered important for cancer therapy and the society really had play a major role in bringing uh, immune oncology immunotherapy in the mainstream of clinical oncology society play obviously a very important role in uh, um, fostering this type of research supporting and uh, scientific communication but really the success of immunotherapy has been due to the work of so many great scientists uh, uh, many of those are actually uh, part of the academy. And the fact that they have recognized that my work give me a place on their side in the academy really make me very honored and happy.